Hi there, and welcome to the Experience Podcast. My name is Dennis, and today uh, I am a multi-dimensional spiritual being that's having a human experience. And my name is Neil. And uh, in this video, um, I want to present um about an experience that i had personally and um i feel that dennis is wanting to share his experience as well and um it's about a um traditional uh frog medicine by the name of cambo spelled k-a-m-b-o-o and um could you, uh, Dennis, if you want to, could you go into sort of, so this was done in a ceremonial setting. Could you go into like how, how the ceremony began? Um, we're not going to be disclosing the actual practitioners that um, helped with the ceremony just for their own privacy. And so would you like to get into like the ceremony itself? What was the setting like? Um, yeah. And where we were at, how we were getting set up. And then I want to pre present some uh, direct information on um, combo itself. And um, if you want to, you could even go into some of the openers to the experience and that is here if you want to use that for a reference i'll let you share that because you got you got, you got that information it. um so but yeah it was uh the ceremony was uh done here in costa rica um right on the uh right literally on the beach um it was away from the ocean maybe 30 feet um, and the tide was going out, so um, it was a very, very amazing setting. And the uh, initially it started sprinkling, and we thought it was going to rain, but it ended up not raining. Um, not only did it not rain, the sun actually like came out. Yes. Um, and it was already out, but then clouds moved, so we could visually experience it. So, um, we, uh, we all kind of just, uh, we walked along the beach and we just kind of filled out, you know, what the best setting would be amongst the four of us. And, uh, after, uh, we had made a spot, we proceeded to, uh, lay down some tapestries and, um, had a little bit of music going. Um, and we did some breathing exercises. We, um, burned some sage. There was some music going. And, um, basically got us very, very present in the moment. And, um, you know, as, as the shamans were getting all their medicines together and so forth. So, uh, while that was going on, uh, I was just being present in the moment and um, then um, the shaman had the uh, I don't remember the names but it was it was one that uh, he put some drops in her eyes so that is called it starts with an S and it's called Sananga and it's spelled S-A-N-A-G-A and um, so they put droppers, uh, one drop in, her, in each eye, and the shaman had me look both ways and blink a lot of time, and it <laughs> burned like hell. It burned like hell. In the, in the eyes. And, yes. and that was my experience as well. Like, I, I, like, when I felt it begin to burn, like, my shoulders did this. Like, my body tensed up. And actually, one of the shamans actually put his hands on both my shoulders and 
decompressed them and um, it was a physical representation to relax and um, that was sort of the actual purpose of this medicine of Sananga and um, and it was a progression of three medicines and all three of these were designed to get you more present and to detoxify the body and to become to get into your body so to get grounded in your body and and that was sort of the intention with this opening and and really all three of the medicines that we're going to be sharing and um, another another note in that Sinandra, my eyes were actually swollen underneath, like right here, for the next day and a half. Wow. Yeah, it's something that I was just, like, I looked in the mirror and they were very, very puffy. So I thought that was interesting. Um, That's something that I did not experience. Like, okay. I literally, my eyes, once it, once, so the burning sensation lasted for like, five to eight minutes for myself and it felt like 10 hours um it, it was really a stinging and um it, it just was it uncomfortable it was uncomfortable very much so and um and then when i relaxed i i began to realize that i'm not the discomfort that i'm feeling and when I came to that realization, I was able to ground into my body, relax, and let go of the burning sensation and just be present. Like, be the awareness that my eyes are burning, but not connecting to the pain. Like, like just letting it do its thing. Nice. And so, after that, um, the... And this lasted for about 10 minutes. Um, I would say, well, maybe not that long, maybe five minutes. Um, and then as soon as I could open my eyes again um, and kind of look around or whatever, uh, the shaman had Rapi ready, which is spelled R-A-P-I. R-A-P, uh, it might be an A. It's R-A-P-I, pretty sure. R-A-P-E. Oh, R-A-P-E, okay. Cool. And uh, so, and the Rappi, could you explain how that was, uh, how they, that medicine was given to us and, and what was your effect? Yes. Um, so this is another uh, very grounding medicine and uh, Rappi is a smokeless tobacco that is ingested by the nasal cavities and um, from what I've researched, it's approximately 10 times stronger than a typical tobacco. And um, it has different effects as well because it's a, it's a blend, it's more than tobacco. And this blend is made by indigenous tribes living right here in Costa Rica. And there's multiple tribes that uh, produce this rape and each rape from each tribe has a different effect and a different experience and um, so this particular one was um, a heart opener as well as a third eye opener so um, the method of application was a it looked like a horn type of thing like a pipe almost like a half moon and uh, the shaman applied the rape in that and then proceeded to blow some through the tube into each nostril one after the other and this was all while um, I was in a seated position and I felt I didn't so much feel super grounded. I was very much feeling my body, um, but I actually felt more spacey, and um, I felt my heart rate. My heart rate I felt speed up some, and um, I felt like 
sort of mystical. It, it was a, it was a it was sort of a mystical experience, like how some medicines get you feeling very grounded. This was more like a spiritual, like um, for myself. That's sort of what I experienced, and it wasn't like super profound. Um, I just felt more a connection to spiritual realms. Uh, so what was your experience, Dennis? Yeah, so uh, definitely spiritual, very much so. I feel that, and the shaman had his focus, our attention, my eyes were closed and he had his focus, our attention on our third eye um, as he applied it and, and briefly thereafter. And um, so after it was applied, um, I really felt like my intuition really open up and he had a set an intention um as well and i felt that as i put my attention to it i felt the uh i felt like the um the energy behind that intention very much increase um and it was very much like you said i feel a spiritual medicine so it was very interesting it was by far, like, I've done numerous different rapes, and this was a special rape just for the ceremony of combo, so. Okay, so, and, and so this was sort of the succession. So, so we did the Samanga, like, really grounded, like, that was the most grounding thing that I've felt, like, literally not ever, but, like, probably within the last year. Um just being that awareness that I'm not the pain, like I'm, I'm just the awareness of the pain. And um, I'm familiar with that. Um, and it was a reminder. And so there was the Samanga and then the Rape. And then um, we went into the Cambo experience. And um, I want to read some about Cambo and then we'll get into um, the direct experience um of what i experienced and then uh dennis can share his experience or, or vice versa so cambo what is it another name for it a few other names is uh sapo daokiet campo um it's the venom of the giant waxy monkey tree frog of the lower amazon basin and this medicine is common to as many as 53 different uh, indigenous Amazonian tribes. And particularly with the Matsis and the Yawanawa. So what is Cambo used for? Uh, in the Amazon, Cambo is predominantly used for hunting prowess. As it is known to increase visual perception and acuity, sharpen the senses, increase strength and stamina, suppress the appetite, and enhance night vision. Uh, in Western medicine, it's, it's more currently studied for um, 30 of its bioactive peptides, which have been shown to be useful in modulating the immune system cleansing the liver, the gallbladder, and the lymphatic system of toxins, and delivering an, an analgesiac effect um, more powerful than morphine. In addition, several of these peptides have been shown to be useful against viral, yeast, and bacterial outgrowth. Um, and uh, this article is continuing to express how uh, this person in particular has found it to be a, p a powerful cleanser of energy and um, an excellent preparation for other plant medicines and um, also an increased ability to relax and focus in the face of stress. stress and that lasts for several weeks following the treatment. So, 
Um, that's sort of an overview and um, Cambo is definitely not a joke. It's a powerful medicine and it is regarded as an ordeal medicine and with good reason that the experience can last 20 to 40 minutes and it's quite intense and so so that's sort of an overview of what it is of what it is and what uh what what is your uh what's what was your experience yes, yeah so so like so we just did this rape we're sitting there grounded and uh this cambo uh is very grounding and usually there's uh little to no uh i say usually but it's different per person per in intensity how much you utilize and and usually that's between you and the shaman you and the shaman and you and the medicine as well so with this we felt into um how it's applied is actually small burns are burned into your skin and uh, uh that is dennis's actual physical remnants from the experience and um small burn marks are applied and then the medicine is rubbed into the burn and um it's applied in that manner and um so uh we felt into it felt the number of dots that we wanted to experience three being a very low moderate dose for the beginners and as much as 10 to 11 dots being uh, a super intense um for somebody who's maybe done it before or an experienced uh individual with the medicine so um, I was already feeling into the number six and uh, Dennis chose first and he's like, he wants six uh, like applications. And I was like, wow, that's pretty fucking badass because I was literally about to speak it and then he spoke it. And so I chose six as well. And six being the number of burns and uh, medicine being applied to each burn and and something that i want to point out there is the shaman went around and he made these burn marks before he applied the medicine yes so all these burns were there before the medicine was applied yes and that was another thing when he started doing that that really grounded me into my body too because it was it's literally a burn so it was like ah yeah i'm present yeah, present again. Yeah. You know what's hilarious is I thought when he burnt, when I thought when he was burning me that that was the medicine, and like maybe thirty seconds after that I'm like, okay, well, how long does this take? And then I'm like, oh fuck, he hasn't even applied the medicine yet. Right, right. So, so um, uh, great insight, and so then he, uh, the shaman, just did one burn first he applied it to one area first um to see the body's response to see how you would feel <laughs> and so we did that and i was feeling there and I, I felt i felt energy begin to move in my body but i didn't really know how to explain it and i was sitting there and um like i i just I hear, but then I also visually see uh, Dennis, he, he just like leaned forward because uh, the medicine was actually applied to Dennis first and then I got it next. Um, so like Dennis purged as in literally puked and, it, and I just saw him out of the corner of my eye like bruh. And um, what were you about well, to Well, I, I wanted to share too, like uh, before or as the medicine was being applied um the shamans dug holes beside the tapestry so that we could so we'd have a place to purge in so if you can picture that in your mind literally like it was it's a it's a normal thing with this medicine to because it's a cleanser it how are you feeling at this point um like i was feeling things stir inside of me um i 
I felt very in my body. Like I wasn't having like a spiritual experience. I felt grounded, but I felt energy moving. And I didn't, I don't really know how to explain it other than things were moving in my body. Like I felt energy like doing this. And so, so then Dennis is like purging and I'm like, oh, whew. like, mm, like we drink. Like, he had us drink a whole bunch of water beforehand, like, like, literally a liter of water. And in preparation for purging, and uh, he, he had us eat no food beforehand. So it was literally just water and this medicine. Yeah, we had to fast for uh, 12 hours. We didn't have to. We chose to because it was recommended. And so, so I'm sitting here still feeling it move. And... Now I'm like, okay, um, I just, like, I began to, it, it's kind of hard to put the events in order, but from what I remember is, um, I asked it about laying on my back rather than sitting, because it began, I began to feel so dizzy and so much energy moving that I felt like I almost, it was almost like a challenge to sit up. And so then I felt this just rising, welling up within me. And I like, I, I just got my mouth open. Like it was like, ah, and it just shot out. Like I literally just purged uh, into the sand. And so that was like, that was like the initial like we haven't even gotten into the intense experience and there was all already energy moving purging happening and so then he asked uh dennis and i he's like whenever you're ready just say and then we'll um, continue to apply the rest of the medicine to the other burn uh locations now, did he apply it to the other burn locations? Because I I thought that he applied it twice. He did. Okay. And this is now the second time. Okay. All right. So then, okay. So now, so now he applies it again, and now he does it to all of them. So he he now applied it to every single uh, dot, which was a total of six, and and I was now sitting there, and I so. I, what the sensation I felt was he did maybe three dots and I didn't even realize he did it to all of them and um, So I was sitting there. I, be I became so increasingly dizzy that I now laid on my back and I was just feeling this energy like course it, it would like rise up and then it would like go like go back through and it felt like it was going through my chakra system, but but not really like it was also it, I just felt it in my body. So I felt this energy and now with the second application um, I, I I was laying on my back and I felt the urge to now purge again. So I sat up and I purged and I noticed as I was purging like it was it was a decently cool day and I, and I was very comfortable prior to this and what I noticed is like Pretty much instantly when I sat up, my body just began to sweat. And it was like, it wasn't like a sweat like I've sweated before. It was like a sweat, like sweat, like shooting out of my body. Like it, I was like, just, it, I was sweating so much. It was like, like, like it was being ejected from my skin. And so I was purging, I was sweating, uh, I was not having a fun experience. Like it, it was, it was literally like a, like a detox and it wasn't fun. <laughs> and, but it was, I felt very cleansing and, and I was purging and puking to the point I completely emptied my stomach. And even after I emptied, I was puking like yellow ish mucus um from my mouth and um so do you want to get into um sort of what you experienced because that's sort of the intensity build of what i was experiencing and then i'll i'll, I'll want to get into like the dissipation of it kind of 
how it then began to dissipate. So that was like the most, I was at the most intense point then. So go for it. And then um, mm. then we can get into the, so how it began to wear off. So for me, it was, um, as soon as uh, he had applied the six applications of the medicine. Well, start um, with the one. Start way in the beginning. That's where I'm starting. Did he apply it one time and then again? He did, yes. So, in so the second, what did you feel at, after the first one? I felt it burn. I felt the burn, but that was just a physical burn on my skin. Um, and then the when the second application was so you I, didn't feel so much with just the first application not really not no. but <laughs> i felt like this pressure building in my face mm. and my face really felt as if it was swelling up or, and really heating up that that's what i experienced when the sweat was just and my lips i noticed i went when i when i purged the first time i it felt like my lips were very swollen. Uh, it just felt like my whole face was possibly twice the size that it normally is. And um, so, and I purged probably two times and I was like, I had to take a shit. And I was like, oh fuck, I gotta take a shit. <laughs> and there was no restroom anywhere close by. Oh, uh, there was so, the massive nature restroom. Well, exactly. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to try to hold this. Maybe I can puke it up rather than take a shit because I didn't want to go take a shit. At this point, my body is feeling very, very heavy and I did not want to move. Um, it's like Neil said, like the heaviness was very, very real. It, it very much was a very heavy medicine grounding like it wasn't like you're out there like like even even when you experience cannabis it's a like a out there sort of spacey like not so much in your body in your body yes but it's sort of a mystical experience this was nothing like that this for for my experience it was very in the body very very much so i think i purged like twice and um, then I was like, I gotta do it, take a shit. So I went back in the bushes and as I was moving along, like I could feel, I was very slow motion and I was very in my body, very <laughs> grounded. And I really was, I was trying to be like, every step was very much aware of where I was stepping, what was around me and et cetera. So I went and I took a shit, I came back and um after that um i think i purged maybe two or three more times at least twice um and then that's where it really like after i would say 15 minutes i think that it uh it really started wearing off um and but it, it really like at this point like 20 minutes in i feel my body is like completely empty like i'm over here pretty much dry heaving yes um because my body had completely got rid of all the bullshit <laughs> like like just everything like a cleanse yes. literally so and then uh yes and then after that there's another experience for another episode but uh for the combo um that's pretty much my experience. I do want to share something else that I've noticed here in the last two days since then. Um, just that I've been aware of, like when I eat food and etc. Sure. Um, when you're done, um, if you got something else yes. to add to it. So like, so then that was like the 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 most intense was like the the really the purging, and then once that was over, it was. Um, I still, I was able to sit up now at this time and I was sitting up and actually after I purged the last time, I actually laid on my back for a while. And when I was laying on my back, I was, I was still feeling this energy move and it felt great moving now because I didn't have anything in me. Were you exhausted at that point? 
I wouldn't say I was exhausted. Physically, for me, I was very exhausted. I wouldn't say that I was. I I would say I I felt very relaxed and very clean. I felt relaxed, but I like from all the purging and everything. Like I, my body felt like it had just run maybe fucking six miles. Like wow. I was, I was, I was beat. Yes, I I didn't experience that, so that's so, interesting. Um. So yes, yeah, so I was just sitting there feeling it out, I, and then actually I was laying, and then I sat up again, and um, I just I remember uh, one of the shamans was looking at me, and he asked me how I was feeling, and I I just commented how present I feel and how relaxed I feel, um, and then it just continued to like more subtly wear off. And I would say the entire experience for myself lasted maybe 25 minutes, and it, it felt like at least an hour. Like it. What What were your initial thoughts going into it? I I like I imagined it being more psychedelic and more spacey. Like for me, it was, oh fuck! I didn't. This is gonna be hell. That's what I because I knew there was gonna be purging involved, and when I felt that heat. That yes. heat and the swelling, I'm like, oh fuck, what did I just do to myself? <laughs> but I didn't yeah. so much have any thoughts like that. I was I was really open to to learn from what it had to express through me, and um, so then yes, that after that it was um, it was an ordeal, and uh, like literally, like it, it wasn't fun going through it. And then after it, like I felt so clean, like, like I, I really don't feel that I've ever felt that clean, like I, I can relate. Like inside, exactly inside my being, like I, I just felt like someone took a toothbrush, and uh, it wasn't even like a toothbrush. You like every little area inside of my body was just like scrubbed, <laughs> and and. I, and I use the toothbrush analogy, but it was even more so. It was like an opening of pores, and anything that was in it just came out, pores and all. And so it was after I felt so clean. Something that I noticed just in the last so it's been two days since uh, since I did that combo. Something I've noticed is like when I eat food, like the regularity of me going and taking a shit. Um, and like you said, I mean, I, it, my, my, my digestive system, my gut, it just feels like it's just, it's working like <laughs> triple A, you know what I mean? So awesome. So, um, that's what I have to share, um, with the experience of combo. Um, do you, do you want to add something to that? I would definitely recommend it if you ever get an opportunity to do it. Um, it's not fun, but it is very, very much worth it. Yeah, it's it's not for a weak body either. I feel like if 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 someone has things going on with their body, it's maybe not a good idea. And not for a weak mind I, I don't, either. Exactly. Or a weak spirit. It, it is it is a very um, it is a warrior medicine, and it, it is an ordeal, and um, and it's cleansing too. So. Um, I, that's what I want to express. Um, if you watch this all the way through, uh, good for you. And uh, I just want to say that this channel does not endorse the use of any um, psychedelic or non-psychedelic compounds. And that this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Um, so just stay blessed. Uh, stay multidimensional and continue experiencing.